First at 10 tonight, legal same-sex marriage in Rhode Island is one step closer to happening tonight. The House has approved the bill that would allow gay and lesbian couples to wed. Well, hopefully you can say the right thing. I voted. And uh, three years ago... Applause broke out just after the bill passed. Right now, Rhode Island is the only New England state where same-sex marriage isn't legal. New at 10, Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is with the Providence Mobile Newsroom and has reaction and a look at where the legislation goes from here. It was no surprise that the bill passed the House of Representatives by an overwhelming majority. The final vote was 51 to 19. Now supporters of same-sex marriage say they're looking forward to the next fight in the state Senate. As the Rhode Island House voted in favor of a bill that would allow same-sex marriage, Larry Bacon watched proudly from the gallery. He and his partner Dave have been together for 36 years, and they want to tie the knot in their home state. We're just as normal and traditional and boring as our heterosexual neighbors, and uh, we don't feel that we should be the poor stepchildren as far as the issue of marriage. Now couples like Larry and Dave are one step closer to walking down the aisle. We are making this journey and we are getting there. State representatives debated the bill for less than two hours before it was put to a vote. Right after we spoke with lawmakers on both sides of the issue. Many opponents of same-sex marriage have cited religious values. They also say public opinion does not support the bill. You should not redefine the fundamental building block of society. I don't have a problem with giving all the rights and privileges uh, of a marriage. My problem comes with using the word marriage to, des to describe something that's a new relationship or a new recognized relationship. But supporters, including House Speaker Gordon Fox, tell us it's time for Rhode Island to embrace marriage equality. It's about equality, it's about justice, it's about tolerance. We also caught up with the bill's primary sponsor, Representative Arthur Handy, who has introduced the legislation every year for the past 11 years. I'm really excited about the history that we've made today. I think okay. we, we really continue to show the momentum that this issue has, not just in Rhode Island, but across the country. Now the bill moves on to the Senate, where it's expected to face much tougher opposition. At the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.